welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. If this is your first time to my channel, I am so glad you found me. I hope you enjoy your stay and you want to come back for more videos. If you do, click the subscribe button down below and then ring the little bell or click the little bell next to it and that'll give you notifications and when I upload new videos. And welcome back to all my returning friends. I'm so glad you guys are here. It is Saturday. I'm feeling much better than what I was feeling the other day. And so I decided to play in my craft room. So I am going to show you how I put my wreath together. I love this so very much. So I am going to insert the clip of how I put this together. And then I will be back at the end to talk with you just a little bit more. Okay, so for the project, we're going to be using some of the jute twine and then some of the shells. Of course, the wreath from the Dollar Tree. And then I have clothespins that I got from Meyer, And I'm going to be spray painting some a pebble color, a teal, and then a kind of a light mint color. <clears throat> that goes with my office color scheme. And <clears throat> spray painting these, my husband is gonna do that for me, so those will already be done by him. Um, but we're gonna put this all together. All right, so I have the clothespins and the wreath up here. My husband spray painted the wreath in the pebble color, and I don't know the exact names of the, the two blue colors, but this one is pebble. I will have a link down below with all the supplies that I used and then the actual colors of the paint that I have. And then I have the blue in that color and then the mint aqua color in there. So all we're gonna do is just start clipping on the clothespins and then I'm gonna hot glue the shells and then intertwine the um, jute on there. So. Enjoy the music and I'm going to start clipping on the clothespins. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'll first explain what I'm going to do. I'm going to put, I'm going to alternate where I put them on the wrong. So I'm going to put the one there and then the next one I'm going to put on the middle too. So that's going to have a, a tiered of effect. So it just kind of covers up the back of the wreath. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted him to spray paint the wreath so it would be the same color as the the brown clothespins. So I'm going to put two there and then alternate with my blues. So I'm going to put one down there without splitting them and then one on there. So I'm just going to go back and forth and get those all on there. So I have all of the clothespins on there, so now I'm going to start hot gluing the shells on. No, I'm going to do the twine first. I'm going to intertwine the twine and then I'll do the shells. So for the twine, loosen up all the ties on here, find my end. All 
right, so now we're going to start gluing the shells on. And I have my E6000 glue as well as my hot glue. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball where I want to put them. Make sure where it's going to hit with the glue. So I'm just going to put some E6000 right in this area where I know it's going to catch the shell and use the hot glue as well. And just start gluing them in place. I think I need a little bit more hot glue. strands and just kind of hold that there for a second and now we'll just start gluing them on I think it's finished. Well, there it is. I think it turned out absolutely stunning. I love it. I love the shells on there. I just love the colors. I think that is so cool. I think I'm doing a lot of my different color schemes in my house. I'm changing things over and I'm using this color scheme. I love it. And the blanket that I'm working on for my son has some of the teals and the grays and the browns that, I don't know, I'm gonna be doing something for myself in that too, but that's another video. But that is the clothespin tutorial wreath. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I have lots of ideas of different wreaths that I want to do that I've seen on Pinterest. Um, but I'm going to be doing some different ones. I've got plenty of circle form wreaths, the heart one and the square ones from the Dollar Tree. So I've got lots of ideas that I want to do for upcoming themes, holidays, or just whatever the mood strikes me to do. But I am going to head off here now. I will go in my office real quick and I will put this on the door so you guys can see it with a white background so you can see it up close. I don't know if I'm going to leave it on the door or if I'm going to hang it on the wall. That's yet to be decided. But All right, so there it is on the back of the door. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to leave it up there or if I'm going to put it on one of the walls. And Lacey's coming in, so she just pushed my door open. But I have... Up there so you guys can see it. I'll kind of zoom in a little bit so you can see it up close. So just the different shells and then the twine around. But I love it. I enjoyed this wreath. I hope you guys did too. And until next time, remember to live a little, laugh a lot, and love always. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.